Hi people, if you haven't watched the first part of this lecture course, then go and watch it now because there's some pretty important information there. And if you have, you know the drill. Enjoy! What on earth is prologue? That was me in my first year, thinking Cambridge was going completely nuts and didn't want to teach us any useful stuff. It turned out to be such a wonderful language that makes you think in a different way. Instead of functions, there are relations, and the whole language operates on rules and predicates. We had no lectures, the classes were recorded in 2012 with some interactive videos and have been used since. I wish Cambridge did more of this. We had some help sessions and one optional assignment. Out of more popular languages, we did C and C++ in second year. It was just 12 lectures and got nowhere near as much attention as Java. We had one assignment throughout the whole year. Moving on to my favorite part, which is maths. We had a course called Mathematical Methods for Computer Science. It was split into two sub-courses. One covered probability methods, so things to do with random variables, distributions and simulations. Another was Fourier methods and wavelets. The whole course is prerequisite for a lot of courses in my third year, so I should probably revise it. Fourier methods and Markov chains were particularly important. Security was pretty cool. We looked at cryptography and various ciphers. There were a lot of diagrams which made everything so much easier. We learned message authentication and various cipher attacks, how capture and passwords work, and how operating systems provide security. We covered access control, i.e. you can read and modify files, and examples of malicious software. I think around 2012 or so, so I think not all of these dates will be uh, birthdays, I would hope. Computer design was 24 lectures, which was a lot. That's because the course was split into 18 and 6 lectures. And also, in addition to that, we had practical assignments on FPGA to make extra sketch and a clock using LEDs. These practicals were supposed to be once a week, lasting 4 to 5 hours, but it was so time consuming. The second part of the course was about systems on chips and GPUs. And here we can see a funny demonstration of how threads compete for resources. And of course, there are race conditions. I like it when lecturers want to make things more interactive. Compiler's course was 16 lectures and covered all stages of compiler construction. We looked at lexical analysis, which operators goes first and how a parser can be stuck in recursion. Finished with some advanced topics on garbage collection and bootstrapping. Probably one of the most anticipated courses was, of course, artificial intelligence. Even mathematicians and engineers came to visit, so lecture theater was pretty full. They were probably quite disappointed though, because most of the time we were talking about searching and planning and knowledge representations rather than robots taking over the earth. Last bit did involve exciting neural networks with a lot of not so easy to understand maths. So here it is. I know I haven't covered all of them and you can see the rest on your screen. Personally, I know when I was considering various universities, I was torn between maths and physics and economics, computer science, engineering. My advice would be to calm down and really look into a syllabus of what you would be studying. Just because it says computer science doesn't mean that it's literally the same course. Computer science at Cambridge really differs from Oxford, from Imperial, UCL or St. Andrews. Research it further and don't be afraid of scary names like artificial intelligence, neural networks and image processing. I made this video intending to show you the breadth of the course. Computer science is truly huge, it's not just programming. Usually this sort of information is available on university websites, so do check them out before applying. If you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to ask in the comments down below. And if you have any ideas about the future videos you would like to see. My internship is done, I have plenty of time to make them. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye! And here you can see a beautiful pond with red water. Water.